Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links and commands we used in this video. Today in Solvetic, we will see how to install Nessus in Linux. To start, open the terminal. Then run the on-screen command to download the latest version of Nessus. Then extract the content. Run the command sudo dpkg-i file.deb, press enter, enter your password. Now start the Nessus service, run the command on the screen. After that, enable Nessus at startup, run the command on the screen. After this, confirm the status of Nessus, run the command you see in the console. It's time for you to configure the firewall first, add the service with the command, sudo ufw allow, quotes open ssh quotes. After this, enable the port and protocol. Run sudo ufw allow 8834 tcp. Now enable the firewall. Run sudo ufw enable. Finally, check that everything has been configured. Run sudo ufw status. After this, open the browser. Here, enter the IP address of the system plus the port number. Now click on Advanced. After, click on Accept the Risk and Continue. When you access the Nessus console, click Continue. Now you can choose one of the available options. In this case, we activate Nessus Essentials. After this, complete the registration with your name and email. After that, click on Register. Then you will see the assigned license information. Click Continue. After this, create the administrator user, then click Submit. Now you just have to wait for the plugins to be downloaded. When this process finishes, the console will open. Here, wait for all the plugins to compile. Hey, remember to subscribe Sylvetic channel.
then click on Settings. In the About section you can configure all the basics of the application. Then in the Advanced section you can configure global Nessus parameters. Now if you need you can add and configure the proxy server and SMTP server. Afterwards, you can make certificate and password settings to improve the security of Nessus. Then to have a graphical view of the system status in real time, click on Scanner Health. Then when you return to the Scans tab, you can enter the IP address to scan. After that, click Submit. When it is detected, select its box and click Run Scan. Now you will be able to see the analysis in real time. Here you will find the status of the equipment, its vulnerabilities, and the usage history. We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.